Good morning. It is 5.50 a.m. Just left my hostel. Now I've got to walk about a quarter of a mile down the road, listening to the cockerels. They've been going since 3 a.m. to go and see a gun because he's now taking me to the airport. I am not going to miss those cockerels at all. So to the airport I go. That's it, end of Bali stage of my journey. Adun's just dropped me off. Oh, bless him. Look what he's given me. That is just so sweet. Right, go and check in now, lose this bag, and off to Singapore. So, my bag's gone through, I'm all checked in, and I'm now on the other side, just waiting. I've probably got about two hours before my flight goes. So I've just ordered some breakfast and a watermelon juice. Oh wow, my monster of a breakfast has just arrived. Avocado on toast, a nice caramel latte and watermelon juice. Perfect. Had my breakfast. I've probably only got about an hour and a half now before um, the flight leaves. So I'm making my way to the gate. It's gate 9A. And it's right at the other end of the concourse. <laughs> Typical. I believe that's my plane. in-flight meal has just arrived. Let's have a little look. Ladies and gentlemen, as we are making our final approach into Singapore to ensure that your seatbelt now firmly fastened. I've just landed in Singapore. That was the easiest ever to get through. I literally filled out a form and walked straight through. Amazing. And now I'm here, just clearing customs. And now I've arrived in Singapore. Okay, so I've just been to the ATM to take some money out. And it, when you go in Bali and take money out, you get hundreds and hundreds of notes that are pretty much meaningless. I've come here and taken out a hundred Singaporean dollars. I have no idea how much that is. I get two notes. <laughs> I don't know what's occurring. I'm gonna have to look up and see what this is worth, whether it's 20p or 20 pounds. Oh my word. I've just found the jewel, the tallest indoor waterfall. I feel a bit like I've stepped inside some kind of, I don't know what. This is the most amazing thing I've ever seen. This really is spectacular. Wow. <laughs> I can't believe I'm here. This is just absolutely amazing. You can't appreciate the size of it unless you stood here. I'm just sat in awe at the moment and you can feel quite a nice mist coming off of the water as well. This really is the most amazing airport ever. I've now travelled from Terminal 2 to Terminal 3 where I've been told that I can get the train to the city. Ah, train to city this way. So I've made it to the train station and evidently you don't need to get an EZ card. I've got the Revolut card and evidently they work just as well as the EZ. So you just tap on, tap off. So I believe I have to go two stops and then change trains. In my wisdom I've decided that I'm not going to get a SIM card and now I have no idea how to find Hotel. <laughs> Brains of Britain there. <laughs> Here 
who needs internet. I'm on my way. I've just taken a photograph of the map. I think I'm finding my way. It's actually not too bad here. It's well signposted. Blimey. Go me. I haven't got lost yet. Touch wood. Wow, look at the high-rise buildings with the plants and trees coming out of them. It's amazing. Hey, hey, go me. I found it. And with no sat-nav on my phone. Oh, joy. Stairs. Hmm. More stairs. Oh, don't ask me to take these off. So I've just arrived. This is my room. And this is my little berth here. It's a top bunk. Actually, that's okay, because the ladder's fine. Oh, look at that. Yeah, and for Singapore, actually, the price wasn't too bad. So, yeah, I think it was, I don't know. I'll have to put the price up here. But actually, it was the cheapest room I could find in Singapore, and it's a really good location as well. So I'm going to dump my bags, and I'm going looking around. So this is just crackers. So this is the main road. And there's hardly any cars. After coming from Bali, where there were so many cars, it's mad. Wow, look at that. I really like Singapore. This is really surprising me on my first impressions of Singapore are really good. It appeals to my sense of order in my life. If anyone knows me, I do have slight OCD. So I'm just walking around and I was looking for the Marina Bay Sands Hotel. <laughs> I think I'm walking around with my eyes shut for most of the time. I'm just going to leave the phone where it is and turn the camera around. Any closer to me, it would have bitten me. Look at that. That is just amazing. And I think you can actually go up onto that top platform. I've walked along a little bit and you can see the museum there as well. It's shaped a little bit like an orchid. Just look at that with the sun coming out from behind it. How beautiful. Oh my word. My grandchildren would love this. Look at that. That's a kiddie's dream. This skyline is amazing. It is literally something house. This is a look inside the Marina Sands Hotel. It's huge, absolutely massive. I can't believe I'm here. I'm like a kid at Christmas. They're spectacular. So I've made it to Garden on the Bay and I'm now laying on the floor underneath the giant flowers with everybody else waiting for the light show to start. We've got about another half an hour. I'm quite excited. I'm really looking forward to this. Waiting for a light show in a country I've just arrived in. This is a little bit surreal, really. <laughs> I'm Lynn and Jasmine showcase some lights and musical treats. Tonight we present a journey through Asia. So pick a spot, grab your cameras, and enjoy the show. Oh, 
that was the most magical thing I've ever seen. I got quite emotional watching that. I loved it. Absolute brilliant. Perfect first day in Singapore. Wow, this looks very different at night. Singapore skyline, day or night. It's very impressive. I've just realised I haven't eaten since I was on the plane this morning. I think they served that at about 11 o'clock this morning and it's now almost 9 p.m. I'm so hungry. So I'm having a bowl with duck and rice and a Diet Coke. I am so disappointed with myself. So I've just spent 23 Singaporean dollars on a rice bowl and a Diet Coke and behind me the food courts, the local one, all dinners are like $2, $5, but I didn't know where it was, so time to go back and have sleep. I'm so tired. I've been up since five. Good morning, everybody. I am in the stairwell of my new hostel. I have to take shoes off before you enter, but today I'm going to find the hop on, hop off tour bus. Waiting at this bus stop for a while for the, the red line hop on hop off bus. Several people have come and gone again and I've just asked the couple that were holding a mat and they're like oh yeah it'll be here in about 20 minutes. I'm like thank goodness I stuck to my guns and stayed where I was. Everyone else has walked up the other way. <laughs> Go me! <laughs> I must be getting better at this traveling lark. Sands Hotel. It's spectacular. Such an amazing building. And now I'm off to see if I can't get a ticket to go up to the viewing platform. So I'm now on the top of the Marina Sands Hotel. You can see the absolute miles. That's the garden by the bay. That's where I was last night for the light show. It's wonderful from up here. But actually, it looks really small from up here. I bet the light show looks quite good from up here as well. I'm on the local bus on my way to Little India. I um, saw it earlier when I was on the hop on, hop off bus. I thought I would go back for a proper look around. Into that. So here is just a very small snapshot of Samosa Island and Aquarium. I've done a whole vlog on it because I really enjoyed it so very much and really you should aim to spend at least a couple of days on it if you can. Highly recommend it. There we go, it's official. I am now stood on the most southernmost point of continental Asia. <laughs> Go Nan with a backpack. <laughs> the trains here 
a driverless and I'm stood right at the very front. I almost feel human again. I just walked past this hair salon and I stopped and got a haircut. Oh, I feel so much better. It's a day of spoiling myself today. I've now come for a pedicure. <laughs> oh my word. I've only just found Marks and Spencers. Ice party rings, Garibaldi biscuits. Oh, come on. Oh, I'm so happy. They have Colin the caterpillars. So now I'm feeling a little bit more human after having my hair done. I've made it to Raffles City and I'm gonna go and find the Raffles Hotel and try and get myself a Singapore sling. I've made it, Raffles Hotel. My drink has arrived. Well, here I am with a new hairdo, a pedicure, and a Singapore sling. Life doesn't get much better than that. Oh, I almost forgot, Colin the caterpillar and Percy the pig. My day just gets better and better. Cheers! And I've just got the bill, $43. Ouch! <laughs> I'm so glad I only had the one, I can't afford two. It's one of those iconic things that you really have to do in life though. So I'm really glad that I can tick it off my bucket list. I have to say I've had the best day ever. I really have. And now I'm headed back just to sort myself out before I go and finish off my perfect day with a trip to the theatre. I'm to see Frozen. Oh my, yeah. I am beyond excited really really looking forward to this wow frozen the musical certainly did not disappoint and nor does this skyline look at that <laughs> oh my god singapore at night look at it it's amazing <laughs> i've just got to show you that skyline one more time Right, and on that note, I'm going back and I'm going to bed. Bye -bye.